watching KSL 5 News today. Here we go right now to Alex Boy. I'm excited to see him because he is at the world's largest mobile scuba diving pool. Are you ready for this, Alex? No, I'm not ready for it. First of all, <laughs> they told me that it was indoors. That is not indoors. <laughs> We're outdoors. And I'm cold. I'm from freezing. But you know what? One consolation. Look at my outfit. Look at my get up. Come on, go, come on. Yeah. And back up. And back up. Yeah, looking good, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to tell you about what's going on here. We, uh, the uh, uh, Mill Creek Township is partnering with uh, National Get Outdoors Day, and they're hosting the fifth annual uh, outdoor festival. So it's really cool because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on here. I'm hanging out with Josh right now, and Josh is part of uh, a BeADiver.com program. So tell me about what, what it is. What's so cool about diving? It seems to be picking up nowadays. Well, the cool thing about diving is most of the earth is water, and mm -hmm. so it's like a whole other world that most of us don't get experience. Uh -huh. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So tell me, uh, Beer Dive, got to, if people go on your website, what do they find there? Uh, it's a program that goes around the U.S. and introduces people to diving. There's actually a lot of diving here in Utah. We have three different dive shops here today helping out introduce people to diving. All right, sweet. Well, thanks, man. Well, speaking about diving, I'm, I'm going to jump in in a minute, but I want to talk to this guy here. This is Big Wave Dave. I don't know his last name. Ridden something. Ridden baka haka haka. But uh, they call him Big Wave Dave. That's what Big Wave hear. Dave, tell us what's going on, man. What's going on here? Tomorrow? Apparently tomorrow, big deal. There's going to be a lot of diving going on, and you're, you're basically heading up this whole gig. So what's going on? We're going to have water just as warm as the Caribbean out here. It's 82 degrees to show you what you can do in outdoors Utah. Hey, you can spearfish in the state of Utah. we got 90-degree springs. Mm -hmm. uh, we got dive stores. So if you're over 10 years old, come out and go diving. You'll learn from the, from the best instructors from Dive Addicts, Dive Utah, and Neptune Divers. Well, so there you go, man. This is the guy. So we're going to go in. I'm actually going to go in, and I'm going to dive in a bit. So uh, stick around because it's going to be crazy. When it's this hot and this humid, it's tempting to take a dip in the pool. But how about jumping in and just staying underwater until this passes? Well, maybe not, but if you've never gone scuba diving, this might be the weekend to start. Jim Loke shows you where you can dive on in. How about XL? XL will be good. Learning to scuba dive in Pittsburgh? There's great diving around here. There's quarries and springs that you can dive pretty much year round. This giant pool at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium is part of the Festival of Water. Big Wave Dave here says scuba isn't as hard as it seems. You really can learn to dive in about two weekends. You class and pool one weekend, and your next weekend you do your open water training dives. So once you get the suit on, you find the mask. Okay, that's a good fit. But I'll make sure it's watertight. And the flippers. They're a little snug, but when you're size 13, everything feels a little snug. And then you're good to go. While the zoo is giving you a free shot, it usually means paying up. Classroom is probably about three hundred and fifty dollars, and it can vary depending on what's included. And you need your mask. Your own mask is a snorkel, and that's really it to get you going. So, what's the attraction? You start early. You, you can be adventuresome. I mean, travel all over the world. Maybe if you're into shark diving, you can do shark diving. You can dolphins. You can be an underwater photographer or look at wrecks and dozens lined up to try it out on day one, lessons quickly learned. Just going under and trying to think about breathing, like you have to think about it before you do it. Well, the first time I did it, I was really small, so the tank had hit my head. <laughs> Pretty easy to do. It's not something to be afraid of. Now you'll have your opportunity to scuba dive at the Festival of Water. It continues all weekend long through Sunday at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. Reporting underwater, Jim Lopay, PDKA TV News.